Good morning, trader. Steve Gans here to wrap up this compare and contrast event over earnings on Netflix. This is where I came in and I put on in paper trading, I put on a long straddle. That's where we're buying a call and a put where at the market as of yesterday morning. And then I sold a call and a put at the market yesterday morning. And we're going to see how those two, you know, how they compare and contrast here this morning upon the market's open. Now, if you're not aware of it yet, there's going to be a big move here. Netflix closed yesterday right in this 610, 612 range. After their earnings, they went as high as 640, as low as 560. And now they're right here around the 570 mark a couple minutes before the open this morning. So let's take a look at 570. So that's going to be right in this general range. So this particular trade, the long straddle, there's going to be a lot of decay and volatility that's going to drop out of this thing right on the open. You can see right here we're showing 326% volatility. So one of the things you're going to see is this is going to drop dramatically right on the open in both of these. And you're going to see how that impacts these two dramatically different trades. So again, these trades are almost, they're polar opposites of each other. As of the close last night, this long straddle was down slightly. The short straddle was up slightly. Just to act as a reminder, in the short straddle, when we sell these, what we're looking to have happen is we want the underline to stay as close as possible to our center strikes and have that decay happen. Decay is going to happen through time to some extent, but more than time, it's going to happen in this case through a drop in volatility because the main event, in this case earnings, this binary event where there's a whole bunch of you know pent up unknowing what's going to happen, got released last night in the earnings report. And so again, we're going to see this volatility drop dramatically. When that volatility drops dramatically, we're going to see this T0 line raise up. But again, we have to keep in mind that right now, our price is all the way over here somewhere, the price of the underline. So we're going to see what that does. I would expect a little bit of profitability probably in this trade, all the way over in here somewhere. And here, this one, we come over here to that same place, that 570 or wherever it's trading right now. Again, we'll see when it opens. And I'm expecting that we're going to be down a little bit. And as the day wears on and this particular T0 line gets closer and closer to our expiration line, we're going to see this happening. So if this doesn't sell off a lot more, this particular trade is likely to end up at some form of loss, where this trade is likely to end up at some sort of gain by the end of the day. Oh, there we go. That's the opening bell. Okay, so... As soon as this settles out, this is going to take a minute or two for the pricing to bounce around. And okay, so now we see where we're at here. This trade right now is down twenty-six, so $599 because we're all the way over here on this one. Okay. This one, again, we're all the way over almost out of the tent. Not totally out of the tent though. And so this one is currently up $681. We can see that those are essentially the same numbers. So one is up that amount, one is down that amount. If we look at our underline, it's trying to maybe rally a little bit here. If that rallies, of course, that's going to do much, much better for this particular trade than it is for this one. Because rallying means that we're going to be, of course, moving this direction. So, if I'm a trader on this, there's a couple of possibilities that I could consider doing. Obviously, the first one, if you're in this position, take the money and run. Just close it out. I could also do something where I move a call down. Now, I'm again, this thing expires today. This gets into day trading options, which can be a little bit of a dicey thing to do. But I could come in and I could sell another short call. So I would sell a call and I could sell that call somewhere 
down around the current mark, which is down around in here somewhere. So I could sell that call and maybe get an additional $900 on it. So that might be a way that I could potentially add some adjustment into this. And I also then move my downside down just a little bit. We can see here that I can look at the previous. So this is where I'm at right now. And if I wanted to consider adding that additional call in there, I can see what that does for me. It gives me a little more potential downside buffer, if you will, by coming in and selling this. But of course, if this rips back to the upside, I'm gonna be in a little more trouble in the upside scenario. For right now, I'm just gonna remove this. This is not about day trading options. Uh, that wasn't the goal here, but I just wanted to show a potential possibility. On this trade over here, it's tough to really figure out what to do on this one. There's just, I personally feel there's a little less flexibility in trying to make something happen on this one. Because here our volatility is still up. You'll notice prior to the opening, this was 320 something. Now it's in the 130 range. So volatility's dropped significantly again, but there's still pretty high volatility here, which gives us that ability to sell something else. Where here, if we're having to buy something and that volatility is still that high, we're gonna pay a lot for whatever it is we would buy there. One possibility might be to come buy back this put and just have this call, but that call is so far away that the likelihood of getting all the way back up to it is a little tough. So again, from my perspective, there's not as much that can be done here as there might be uh, to be done here. So with that, I'm going to close out this session. We can see Netflix is starting to rally a little bit here. And uh, just wanted to share that concept. Again, the idea here is comparing and contrasting, in this case, a long straddle to a short straddle. I'm going to ask a favor of you, if you would, if you like this content, if you find it helpful, please give me comments down below. Please like, subscribe. Let me know that this helps you out in your options trading journey and in your education on options trading. That's it for now. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care.